In this particular lecture, let's go ahead and let's learn what exactly are components in React. So we have already learned that a component is the basic building block of a React application and React is based on component-based architecture. So any React application you take, it could be built out of small React components and components could be nested inside one another. Now, in order to understand what a component is in terms of a user interface, let's take an example of a web page. So imagine that Google is built with React. So let's imagine the front end of Google is built with React. In that particular case, this entire thing is a React application and these multiple small widgets which you could take a look at are called components. So for example, this Google image is one component, uh, this entire search bar is one component, these buttons are other components and all of them combined together actually form a React application. And on top of that, you also need to understand that a component could be comprised of multiple other small components combined together. So for example, if you take a look at this search bar right here, this search bar is a component which in itself is comprised of multiple components like the search icon. So the search icon is one component, uh, this mic icon is one component and this camera icon is one component and this input field itself is another component. So all of these components actually come together to form a larger component which is the search bar and all of the components which are actually on the page, they actually form your React application. So this is what exactly component is in terms of UI. So now what exactly is a component in terms of code? So in order to understand component in terms of code, this is what a component actually looks like. So our React application currently has a component which is called as app.jsx. So whenever you have to create a component, you need to understand that component names must always end with JSX. Now in the older version of React, we used to use a extension which is .js which means a simple javascript file uh, but in newer versions of react we are actually naming those components with a .jsx extension now let's understand what exactly this jsx is so if you take a look at this particular component a component is nothing but it's simply a javascript function which returns jsx so as you can see a javascript function always starts with a function keyword then we have the function name here and you need to remember that whenever you're creating components, the name of the component should always start with a capital letter. And I'll also tell you why exactly that is the case. Now, inside this function, you could write any kind of JavaScript code. But the thing is, your component in React must always return a JSX. So JSX is nothing but this code which actually looks like HTML. But this is not actually HTML because there's no class name attribute in HTML. In HTML, we do have a class attribute, uh, but the class name attribute is specific to JSX. So even if you hover over this thing, as you can see, it says that this is JSX. So we are going to dive deeper understanding what exactly JSX is, and we will have a dedicated lecture to understand JSX. But for now, let's learn how exactly we could create our very first component in React. So whenever you have to create a component, you could create a component anywhere. But in order to keep things organized, it's always recommended that inside the source folder, you create a new folder and name this particular folder as components. And we will be creating all of our components in there. So over here, I could simply go ahead, create a new file. And whenever you are creating components, make sure that the file names of those components are always starting with a capital first letter. So let's create a component which is called as hello and use the extension .jsx. All right. So now our component file is created. So as I earlier mentioned, a component in JavaScript is nothing but a function. Now a function in a programming language is nothing but we say that it's like a black box which accepts some data in form of arguments and it gives us back some processed data. Now components in React is something similar. They are just JavaScript functions, but instead of returning data, these components actually return JSX. So that means in order to create a component, we use the regular JavaScript syntax. So here I'll say function, and you need to name your component same as your file. So let's name hello, and that's it. Here we have created our component, but every component which you create needs to return some sort of JSX. 
So over here, I need to say return and then uh, let's try returning a simple h1 tag. So here inside this h1, let's say I say hello from a component. Let's save this code. And after saving this code, now if you go back to your home page here, which is this page, we still have hello there and we have not yet displayed this particular message in there. So now let's understand why exactly is that. So here we have simply created a component, but we have not yet used this particular component. So it's like saying that, okay, you have declared a function, but you have never called this particular function. So this is like a function definition. So once you have created or defined a component, you need to use this particular component inside your main component, which is this app.jsx. So the question is, how would you use this code over here? And the answer is simple you have to actually export this component. Now you might ask, how exactly would you export a component? So just as we have exported this app component here, we could export the hello component as well. So here we have said export default app. So here I have to say export default, which is hello. And that's it. So once I have exported this particular component, I could now import that component here. So let's go at the very top and let's import that component. So I would say import hello and I want to import this from the components folder. So I would say dot slash components and from this I actually want to import hello. So I will import that component here. All right. Now what I would do is I would now make use of that component here. So let's delete this and let's say if I want to call that particular component here or use that hello component here, how exactly can I do that? So in order to get an idea about how components could be called or used, you could go to this main.jsx where we have imported the app component. And whenever you have to use a component, you simply sort of use it like an HTML tag. So just as we have used the h1 tag here, in a similar fashion, you could call a component or use a component. So now let's use the hello component in here. So here I would type in hello and let's use a self-closing tag and close this. Now one thing which you need to remember here is that whenever you're using components like that, you always start with a capital letter. And the reason why we use capitals for components is so that we could distinguish between the HTML tags and components. So if you say, let's say h1, this actually becomes a heading. But if you say something like h1, this could actually be your component which you have defined in React. All right, so for now, let's delete that. And now let's go back to our homepage. And as you can see, now here it says hello from a component. So that means the component which we had created up over here is now successfully rendered on our homepage and it says hello from a component. So this is how exactly you could go ahead and create components in React. And one more thing which you could do here is that instead of having the components as a self-closing tag, you could also close it as you would close any HTML tag. So you could have something like that as well. But to keep things simple, I'll simply have a self-closing tag here. All right. So once we have learned about components, in the next lecture, let's go ahead and let's learn what exactly is this part right here, which is JSX. So at the moment, if you take a look at this, uh, this kind of is a simple HTML heading tag. But in the next lecture, let's explore more and let's understand the difference between simple HTML and JSX. So let's learn about that in the next one.